Hi guys, 18 Dap here and welcome to this match day vlog. It's League 2 football, it's another big one. It's Doncaster Rovers versus Notts County at the Eco Power Stadium. Let's get the video started. So guys, welcome to this match day vlog, another one that I'm looking forward to. Donny versus Notts County, League 2 action. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for supporting the channel and sticking with me and interacting with the channel I, I it blows my mind all the time um so i really appreciate all the support that you guys give me if this video has brought you to the channel please consider clicking subscribe and joining the football family that we've got here on this channel and then you don't miss any future content as well if you are new format we go down to the ground we get the family's force on this fixture uh we'll also try and grab a few fans it's quite windy so cameras always picking up the wind so i'll try and find a spot where we can do that Fingers crossed we can um, give you the lineup for the Rovers and then hopefully capture some celebrations from inside the stands um, and hopefully three points for the Rovers. If you want to hear my thoughts in a little bit more detail, I'll link them in the top corner of the screen, the match preview. Go ahead and check that out and then come back and watch the rest of this video. So yeah, with that said, let's get down to the ground and hopefully enjoy a good 90 plus minutes of football. So welcome to Fans Force. I'm here with Lee from Around the Grounds. Welcome, mate. Not a fan of either club, but no. you're bouncing around the grounds. You've decided to come to the Eco Power Stadium. Um, what's brought you here? Local game. Uh, I'm, I've said a few times League Two is going to be my go-to league this year. So I think there's going to be some cracking fixtures, cracking teams in it, and this one I couldn't miss. Donny Rovers. They've recruited fairly well. Some uh, Notch County, obviously newly promoted. So I thought this one would be a good, good one to cover for my channel. Lovely stuff. You saw Notts County a few times last season. Um, anything you can kind of give us on, on them? They're a good football inside. They try and play the right way. Um, obviously, two strikers for this league should score abundance of goals. But they do, like I said, they do try and play the right way. So, um, like Donny, I think you do try and play, play the right way. So it's, it's set up to be a good footballing fixture. Really. Yeah. Not the greatest start for both teams. Um, we've got one point, they've got four I believe yeah a win loss and a draw so it's mixed back for them. yeah so it's, it's it's evenly matched I think coming into this one um, gives a score prediction Where, how do you think it's going to go oh, so I'm going for that Donny Mansfield 2-2 I think it'll be Desmond 2-2 <laughs> do you know what I'd take it <laughs> I'd take it at this point I yeah. really do lovely yeah. stuff um, obviously give your channel a shout out it will be in the link a link in the description down below and it'll be on the bottom of the screen uh, but yeah tell us what you what you do yeah around the grounds uh, I'm a Wednesday fan I'll keep that one quiet around here but, uh, <laughs> no when I'm not covering Wednesdays I'm just uh, ground up and just getting to, to fixtures local but I'm trying to uh, broaden my horizons <laughs> this year but uh, I'm just loving getting to games just covering it from the channel nah banging mate thank you very much go and give him a subscribe quality content just broke 3,000 subscribers yes, as well so yeah. congratulations on that mate cheers mate this stuff so guys I'm joined by a couple of county fans uh, Fraser and Will thank you for taking a bit of time to be to be on the show um, first things first welcome to League 2 um, it was a <laughs> bit of a baptism of fire for your first game uh, first, that. Yeah, first question is do you think it's just a case of adapting do you think it'll be similar to what Stockport did last year a bit of a slow start and then and then a push on towards the, the end of the season do you think that'll be yeah well hopefully kind of started a little bit slow last year. We had three draws at the start of last year. Yep. And then as soon as we picked up, uh, as soon as we implemented the style, we really picked up and then we ended up like out, out on 107 points. So Lovely. Would you, would you agree with that? I think so. I'm hoping yeah. so anyway. I think we, if we get the defence sorted, and then we get Langstaff scoring, we'll be fine. Hopefully defence is not sorted out today. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get a chance. Yeah. So, in my match preview, I've obviously gone with David McGoldrick as, as the one to watch for you guys. He was like a marquee signing this summer. Uh, Bostock is a link between County and Rovers. I think he'll probably end up having a worldie today. Yeah. Is there anybody else us Rovers fans should be watching out for? Do you think there's somebody who can make it tick for you guys? Yeah, Langstaff's the one you've got to watch. Langstaff. It's going to come. Yeah. yeah. And I'd say Aaron Domain as well. He started really well. Lots of pace standing in. Uh, maybe put, put a load of crosses in, low crosses, maybe struggle. Yeah, and McGoldrick will be eating them up, low crosses. If he, if, if the ball's in the right place, he'll, he'll more than likely be there. Thing, yeah, yeah it sounds similar to what to, to us. We've had a lot of players come in. Um, I think we're just waiting for it to tick. So I'm hoping for an open, entertaining game. I've gone with a two-one to the Rovers. I think you've got to back your club, but go for a score prediction. We'll start this yeah, side. I'd go three-one. I'd go McGoldrick one, uh, Namine one, and Langsford get the one. Lovely stuff in yourself. I'd go 
go for two one because we won't keep a clean sheet. <laughs> so Langstaff's going to come good today, and I think um, also. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> I wish you all the best for the rest of the season. I hope you have a good day, but not too good. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Cheers. So, a big thank you to Lee and Fraser for joining in in Fans Force. Big thank you to Lee from around the grounds, getting involved as well. Go ahead, check him out and subscribe. Fantastic content, deserves more subscribers. So, we're in the ground now. We've got to get the family sports, but first, the confirmed team lineups uh, for the Rovers it's Ian Lawler and Gold, um, Joseph Olu, Richard Wood, Luke Molyneux, Tommy Rowe, Tom Nixon, Owen Bailey, Joe Ironside, Tyler Roberts. Jack Senior and Zane Westbrook make up the starting 11 with the bench looking relatively strong with Louis Jones, James Maxwell, George Broadbent, Deji Satona, Bobby Faulkner, Mo Fowl and Sam, Sam Strone Brown. Um, so that's the starting 11. Let's get the family's thoughts before we kick off the first half. So we're in with the family. Quick thoughts on uh, Tuesday night. We're off the yeah, mark. Got yeah. a couple of goals. Yeah, got a couple of goals. Got a out of it. Uh, played really well. First goal with that. to gel. Uh, like I say, draw a fair result, but I think... Mansfield edged it, didn't they? Yeah, they edged it. We, we got a bit lucky with that. Yeah. Oh, oh, we play like they did today, we'll come away, won't we? Yeah. Right. Prediction? Prediction. Even though I've said that, I'll go for a draw. Are you going? 2-2. 2-2. Two, two. Two, two. There we go. I've gone with 2-1. Moving on to Max. Uh, quick thoughts on Tuesday night. Happy with the result? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Man of many words, Max. Let's go with your prediction, mate. I've got me two ones at Rovers. Yeah, I'm going to go two one Rovers as well. Two one Rovers. Two one with Desmond. You went with two two. Yeah. 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 Moving on to Chris. Small nice. prediction. Thoughts on Tuesday night. added on at the end of the first half we're at 46 38 so I think this is just going to tick down to to a 1-0 uh, a deficit into the break not been great from the Rovers ball retention possession yeah retaining possession not not been not been great we, we're too light in midfield we seem to be giving the ball away too much playing ourselves into trouble um, there's flashes of positivity flashes of decent play that is the half time whistle 1-0 2 not sure, about, not sure about the boot, the performance has not quite been there, but we've been huffing and puffing. I don't think Notts County have really given it much to, to, to warrant a 1-0 lead. It was a really good free kick, well worth free kick, but other than that, I don't 
don't think there's been much. Um, so hopefully we can go into the second half. Grant can give some words of uh, words of wisdom in the break, and we'll come out much better in the second half. Like I say, all retention, possession retention, not there. Final third, balls in the box uh, uh, at four. So lots of improvement to be made in the second half. Fingers crossed, we see it. Let's go and watch it. Go on, Donny, better half. Ah, too easy. Far too easy, boys. That's his plan on to put. Yeah, not the market. 46 gone, whatever the plan was at half time, it is ripped up now. 2-0 to County, far too easy, ball whipped in, nobody marking him, it looks like he's in six yard box, I don't understand why Lawler's not come for it, and he's, he's just slotted between Wood and Olawu, neither of which decide to engage with him, free header, nice and easy, 2-0, we've got an hour to climb now. This could be a long, old afternoon. Rovers nil, Notts County three. Lawless flapped at a ball coming in. It's come through to Jody Jones, I think he is, on the back post, who's just thrashed in at the near post and sends the, uh, the travelling horde absolutely mental. And this could be a long, old afternoon now. Getting pulled to pieces. Rovers nil, Notts County three. Four starts at the second half here. 74 minutes gone and I think if we score now it's going to be nothing but a consolation goal. It's been a very, very poor performance. Lacklustre, lazy, slow, unenergetic, you you name it. And that is what this Rovers performance has been. Um, I think we just need to play Tuesday nights. Seems to be much better. Saturdays, it's not a game for us. Um, but yeah, we've been second best. We've allowed County hours on the ball. Uh, we've allowed the keeper to come to 30 yards before putting any sort of pressure on. It's just been a very... Like, like Chris has just said, similar to a Danny Schofield performance. I don't think we've had a shot on target. Can't remember a shot on goal, to be honest. Been a very, very poor watch this. Very difficult watch. And I think it could potentially get worse in these next 15, 20 minutes. Hopefully there's not too much added time on. But yeah, very poor performance. Once again, this inconsistency isn't great to start a season off. 75 gone, Rovers nil, County three. Couple of chances for the Rovers. Deji cuts in from the right hand side and it's a weak shot, easily dealt with by the keeper. And then a glorious opportunity for Iron side. Keeper's miles off his line, he's got it. All he has to do is a little bit of composure. Couple of four here. Good save by Lola there. Ball's not our play, but yeah, it is now. It's corner to the county. But yeah, keeper's miles off his line. Bit of composure from Iron side and, and we've got a goal back. But he shot it straight at him. Uh, poor day at the office, still 3 0. Could get worse yet. Outside. Oh, good save. It's taken until the 86th, 87th minute for us to actually really test Notts County's keeper. No fouls come on at half time. He's looked like he's wanted to drive with the ball, uh, make something happen, and really he's been one of few players who has done that. It's been a really lacklustre, poor performance from the Rovers. And chalk and cheese from Tuesday night. We we're just saying you get little shoots of, of positivity and what what might happen in a game, and then the just the inconsistency of our of our performances is so frustrating. Maybe McCann could have left the team as it was for a couple of maybe five ten minutes. Really poor ball in. Broadbent's gone down the right hand side there and just kind of swung his foot at it and just over it. Our final third, final ball's been really poor today. Um, but yeah, maybe McCann could have kept the, kept the squad the same for, for an opening 10 minutes. I know we've conceded two in the opening 10 minutes, maybe swapping and changing could have impacted that. We don't know. But overall, extremely poor from the Rovers today. We've not, we've not tested, we've not pressed. 
we've got we've got number two on the ball, passed it back to the keeper now. A couple of seconds on the ball, time to find his pass. Really lazy, really poor. Very disappointing from a Rovers point of view. Um, and we don't deserve anything from this game. Like I say, we've only just really muckied the keeper's gloves. Um, much improvement needed for next week. I will come back to you if anything happens between now and the end of the game. Skinny, Tommy, you were lost that. Another half decent opportunity, but with four minutes into five minutes added on, I think this is just going to peter out to a 3 0 defeat. Very poor, every single man, very, very poor. Um, just chalk and cheese from Tuesday night, like I said in the last, last clip. The, the shoots of, of positivity there in, in one game, and then it's like we'd never play together in, in the next. I think you can. You could touch on, on injuries, we've got a lot of injuries, but we've got a big enough squad and a squad that at the start of the season we were saying there's competition for places, there's two people in every spot, you can't choose your first team. Well, the second team has shown that they're clearly not good enough today. Um, a lot of work needed before we play MK Dons on Saturday. Um, Deji's moving forward now. Poor pass, final ball again. Tommy, Tommy's in for a shot. Deji now, just to turn the shot on. Yeah! Consolation goal! Yeah, we've scored a goal, consolation goal. He took us long enough to take the shot on, but it's come to Deji, he's got it out of his feet and he's slotted it in. Too little, too late. Uh, he was fuming he's not got his goal. Please uh, yeah, bonus. bonus. Uh, get that. <laughs> Where's your bonus gone? Where's your bonus gone? Yeah. Where's your bonus gone? <laughs> That doesn't, change, that doesn't change the fact that we have been absolutely shocking today. We've not deserved anything from it. we are really slow, really, really, really sluggish. Um, yeah, just shocking. Um, so, I said they were going to peter out to a 3-0. It's, it's, it's going to peter out to a 3-1. I think um, they'll kick off and it will be blown up. So I'm going to leave it here. If you've enjoyed it, more than what we have watching it because it's been a very tough watch. Stick a big thumbs up on it for us, please. Comments in the section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Join us tomorrow at half six for the 72 review. Join us on Twitter for the Rambling Rovers space as well on Monday. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. We will see you in the next one. It might be MK Dons, it might be Everton. We will see.